Police searching for a man accused of exposing himself to a young girl, and now officers say he could be a serial flasher. Good afternoon at 5 o'clock. I'm Jeff Giannola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. We first told you about this case, the most recent incident that happened near Cesar Chavez and Northeast Royal yesterday. Now police are looking for even more victims. Our Jennifer Dowling shows us where this crime alert stands this afternoon. Police say the man exposed himself near this intersection. Now neighbors tell us this is a busy thoroughfare for students coming to and from two schools. And police say they're concerned that this man may have done this type of behavior before. I'm always looking out for the kids. This neighbor says she's one of the residents who tries to keep the kids safe in this neighborhood by watching out for them. Kids come back and forth on their two schools, one on either end and often with their parents. The sidewalks are busy, especially when school lets out. About that time Friday, a man pulled up to a 12-year-old girl who was walking here in a black SUV and asked for directions. She walked up to him and he exposed himself. She told police he was white in his 20s with a slim build and short, messy hair. Although the description is broad, police feel there may be others who have seen him do something offensive before. It wouldn't surprise me to find out there's been other incidents of this by a similarly described person. I mean, these guys are creatures of habit. In fact, we got an email from a mom telling us a similar crime involving a dark SUV happened to her 15-year-old daughter this past summer at Laurelhurst Place. That's not far from this recent incident. She said he also asked for directions to All Saints School. That report has yet to be confirmed. This fellow could be a serial exposer. And we do see serial exposers uh, from time to time. If it's the same neighborhood, if it's the same description, then that's kind of a fact pattern we, we would see and go, ah, maybe it's the same person and, and we've got some eyes in the community that maybe can give us better information. This resident says she'll be joining in the efforts to watch for him near the All Saints and Laurelhurst schools. I will definitely be keeping my eyes out even more. If you've had a similar incident happen to you, Portland police still want to hear from you. They say even if it's been a few months, they still want you to file a report. In Portland, Jennifer Dowling, Coin 6 News.